It is Saturday and in my house, that means it is time to reset my home. I love to spend some time on the weekend just getting my home prepared for a new week. I love going into Sunday, just being able to relax and then going into Monday with a nice clean home to start out my week. So I'm excited to just get into my home today. We're gonna be doing a lot. We're going to be cleaning. We're going to be resetting my home. I have a Costco haul to share with you. We're also going to be doing some meal prepping and just tackling my house and I really want to encourage you guys to put me up on your screen today and let's tackle our homes together and just get everything nice and clean for a fresh week ahead. You guys know I love to start out in my bedroom. I feel like when I make my bed and get my room cleaned, it kind of just escalates and I feel like I get that motivation to keep going. So I love to start out in here, make my bed. I'm also going to be spending a little bit more time in the areas that I'm cleaning and doing just a little bit more of a deep clean. You guys will see here in just a little bit, my bathroom was absolutely disgusting on this day and I just wanted to be transparent and show you guys the real life. So. Stay tuned for that because it is pretty gross in there, but I am just, like I said, I'm making my bed. We're going to dust some things down in here, and then we will come back and vacuum later after I'm done cleaning in the bathroom. You guys know I'm weird about walking all over the carpet while I'm still cleaning in one area. I like to kind of just clean in here, clean in the bathroom, and then do all of the floors at once. So I'm going to tackle that really quickly, and then we are going to move into the bathroom. My shower was absolutely disgusting. There was an entire hairball in the corner. I could honestly probably make a chia pet out of that. Absolutely disgusting, but we're gonna get that taken care of. Um, I like to just show the real life messes and all. I know that we're not all perfect. My shower definitely looks like this more often than not. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Um, I'm a busy mom of three, and this week specifically, I was solo parenting for the week. Tim was gone. He had some training for work and I just had to do it all for a week. I'm happy that he's home. He came back yesterday when you guys are watching this. So my house was just a little bit dirty. I really wanted to get in and clean. I am definitely a little old fashioned in the way that I like to make sure my home is clean before my husband comes home, especially when he's been working like out in the heat and stuff all week. I just wanted him to be able to come home to a clean home. So that's what we're gonna get done. We're going to deep clean, scrub every little nook and cranny and the shower in this bathroom you guys will see here in a minute our countertop where our vanity was also absolutely foul my kids like to just spit their toothpaste all over the counter instead of in the sink and so it was just time to get all of that taken care of Falling behind, falling behind, I hate 
On Thursday was actually my middle daughter's sixth birthday. Those of you who have been with me since I started cleaning videos back in 2018, Savannah, my now six-year-old, she was just born. I was pregnant when I posted my very first cleaning video on YouTube with her. We had just moved into this house and now she is six years old and I just cannot believe it. I feel like time went by so fast. I feel like this house still feels new to us at times. Like there's still so many things that we want to do to this home and it's just crazy that six years has already gone by. Um, so it's just a little bit bittersweet. She is going into kindergarten this year and and I'm just so excited for her, but we celebrated her birthday on Thursday. She got her very first American Girl doll. I wanted to wait until she was old enough to like be able to take care of it because those of you who know, they are quite expensive. Um, and then we went to the American Girl doll store, which was really fun. I have never been to an American Girl doll store. I grew up with the American Girl doll. Um, I played with them when I was little. I had I think her name was Kaylee and they only had like a very limited edition of her. I think she was only out for like a year, but she was my one and only American Girl doll and it was just cool to see all of the different stuff that they have out now. They have so many different things, so many different dolls. Savannah picked out a doll with blue and purple hair, just very much her and I just love her little personality and her little style. She's just a character and I love to see kind of like her personality as she gets older and we just had an amazing time just celebrating my little girl but Tim unfortunately was not here for her birthday so I just wanted to make it extra special for her this year and I know she just had an amazing time. We're moving through the night like we from a different star Flying over streets and all broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead Ooh, getting caught in the midst of so many that never get out of Their feet in the fears and the doubts Ooh, but we go and we run to the end and we run without shame All right, now that we are done in the bathroom, I'm going to move back into our bedroom and vacuum, get all of that taken care of, and then I'm actually going to be sharing a Costco haul with you guys after I'm done in the bedroom. Um, I did film this video over the course of a few days throughout the week just because we were so busy. It was really hard to just cut out one piece of, you know, like one day to clean. I really just kind of took a little chunks here and there and put this video together for you guys. So it's going to be kind of random, but it will be coming on here in just a few minutes. All right, we just got back from Costco and we have a huge haul. So I figured I would share everything that we got with you guys. But we typically go to Costco every other month, probably every two to three months and we stock up on stuff. And yeah, it'll just kind of last us those couple of months. That way it makes our grocery shopping just a little bit easier during the weeks. So I'm gonna go through and share everything that we got. So over here we have Clorox wipes. I love to stock up on these. Some double eight batteries. We go through batteries 
very fast in our house. I did just get some milk because we were running low and I'm not going to the store, like the normal grocery store until tomorrow. Um, and then we also got these like street taco, chicken tacos for lunch today for Tim and I. So I'm excited to have those. They're really good. Um, we've got some strawberry ice cream. The kids love these. These are also really good. I love the coconut flavor. It is my absolute favorite. We have ground beef. We have pasta sauce, mac and cheese. Um, I'm going to be doing some meal prepping. So we're going to do some spinach and artichoke dip with some pita chips. Um, and I'm going to do just kind of like little meal prepping containers. And I'll share all of that with you guys as well. Um, we have Pirate's Booty, Cheez-Its, chips. Um, some applesauce pouches, or sorry, yogurt pouches for Maddie, um, ground beef. I don't know if I said that. We have trail mix, orange chicken. Their orange chicken is really good and it comes with two packs of it. Um, that is butter down there. These are like little mini, here, I'll try to show you. They're like little mini cookie ice cream sandwiches. So I'm really excited to try those. Um, some egg and sausage breakfast burritos. We got those for Tim for breakfast. Um, some energy drinks. This is, they're like little individual packs of chicken. I love to have these on hand. We are going to be prepping some protein pasta salad for lunch. So I'll use a little bit of that inside of the protein pasta, but these are great to throw on salads, wraps, all kinds of stuff. I love to have those on hand, juice boxes. Um, Uncrustables, they had a different kind. They don't have the actual Uncrustable brand anymore, at least at mine. They have this version, so we'll see how this tastes. Um, we got some pre-cooked sliced graph-fed beef sirloin. Again, another great thing to have on hand. High in protein for wraps, salads, just as a meal even. So I love to have that on hand as well. Um, I go through avocado spray super fast. So I went ahead and stocked up on that. We have chicken, green tea, this by Wonder Water. We've never tried this. So I'm excited to see if that's something that we like. Gatorade, water, um, mini muffins for the kids. What else we got? We have some peanut butter bars for Tim's lunches. The kids were excited about these Skittle fruit snacks and then some baby wipes so this is everything we got from costco it was like 504 dollars, which is a lot but again it'll last us quite a bit of time and we just love to have things stocked up for our house especially drinks in our fridge and again it'll just last us a good time so i'm gonna go ahead and get all of this put away and then we will move on to some cleaning Before we actually get into any more cleaning, I wanted to do some meal prepping. This is something that Tim and I were really excited about. I actually filmed this the week before he left, but I decided to go ahead and add it into this video because I love to meal prep over the weekend. Again, so that we have, you know, our meals ready to go for the week. This is something that we've been trying to do lately. I just feel like it makes it easier for me. I'm definitely one of those people who I'm not going to go out of my way to make myself something to eat if my kids want something different and then I end up just not eating or I'm not eating very healthy, you know, just a couple of extra chicken nuggets from the kids or something like that. So I really just wanted to make sure I was taking care of my body and taking care of my husband as well. He was sick of sandwiches. And so I was like, you know what, we're just going to try the whole meal prepping thing. And I've been doing different variations of pasta salad. So on this day, I was making like an Italian pasta salad. I like to use protein pasta for an extra boost of protein. I used chicken, cucumber, tomato, red onion. Onion, and then I just added in some Italian dressing, Parmesan, mixed it all up. It was absolutely delicious. And then I paired it with some of that spinach and artichoke Parmesan dip that I got from Costco with some pita chips and it was so good. And you can make so many different variations of pasta salad. I've made like taco pasta salad, Greek pasta salad. Um, I think I'm gonna try like a hamburger pasta salad and see how that works. But there's just so many different things that you can do and this sat really well. We had three for each person that week and the chips didn't get soggy or anything. I wasn't sure how it was gonna work with the pita chips in the container, but everything still tasted 
just as fresh as the day as I packed it. I'm going out with you tonight. Are you close to here? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down. I don't know why. I know it's so surreal. Think I want you here. Oh. I also wanted to meal prep some energy balls. I love to do these as well. These were super easy. They're no bake. You kind of just combine all of the ingredients that I'm showing you here on the screen. You mix it up really good. And then I had to stick my stuff in the fridge for about an hour before I could roll them into balls. I found that like they weren't sticking that well together when I tried to do it right when I had mixed everything together. I have that problem with cookie dough sometimes too. So sometimes it's easier just to put stuff in the fridge for a little bit that way it can kind of harden and then it was much easier to roll everything out. But these were so good, so tasty and I like to just have them for a snack or even for breakfast. I'll eat like one or two of these and they fill me up with a banana and they're just really good. So I wanted to share just some things that we like to meal prep for our week. I can certainly do other ones if you guys are interested i can share like another pasta salad recipe or if i decide to do something else in the future i can let you know that as well but i've been having really fun just meal prepping and trying to be creative as far as what i'm cooking in the kitchen We are going to move on now. I needed to get some cleaning done, you know, after cooking a couple of meals and whatever, you know, being in the kitchen, meal prepping, whatever it is, it gets messy. So I wanted to go ahead and get all of the dishes done. I wanted to wipe down all of the counters, get the floors cleaned, and that way my kitchen was nice and clean for the week ahead. There's one thing about me, my entire house can be a mess but as long as my kitchen is clean I am happy I feel like I can breathe I feel like there's nothing worse than coming downstairs in the morning and you've got dishes in the sink there's crumbs all over the counter it just really sets me off on the wrong foot and I just there's nothing better than a clean kitchen so that is something that I really try to stay on top of even if the rest of the house is falling apart I promise you if you try to maintain the kitchen you can have a clear mind and you can just feel like you are ready to tackle anything even if the rest of the house is a mess.
I wanted to quickly wipe out my microwave. I definitely don't have one of those microwaves that get like super messy. I'm one of those people who I have to cover everything if it goes in the microwave. If I'm heating something up, I don't like to just leave it exposed and it splatter everywhere. <laughs> I've always been this way and it really does help keep, you know, maintaining your microwave between uses and everything. So I like to do that. But every now and then I do like to wipe it out make sure it's nice and clean. I like to take a cup of water and stick it in the microwave for two minutes and then let it like cook for the two minutes and then you'll leave the cup in there for another three minutes. Let the steam kind of work everything because you know the crusty stuff is really hard to get off and that will just kind of help loosen everything. So I love to do that. It's you know no chemicals or anything but it's a really easy way just to kind of wipe out your microwave. My kids go back to school in just two weeks. They go back on August 19th and I feel like I have so much to do before then and for whatever reason, my county where I live, we don't get our back to school supplies list until like a few days before school. I don't know if anybody else's school district is like that or if it's just where I live, but everything is so last minute. I know for Savannah this year and last year, she didn't get her teacher assigned until a week before and then you get your school supplies list at that time. So it can be a little frustrating as far as like prepping because I feel like once we get the school supplies list, everybody around locally is going to be doing their back to school shopping at the same time. So I am not looking forward to that, but I'm very much looking forward to my kids getting back into a routine. Summer is definitely one of those times where I really struggle with a routine. We get really bored easily. There's not much to do, especially with this heat that we've been having. It's really hard to be outside unless you're near water. And it's just been, it's just been a little boring. My kids are definitely bored. They're stir crazy in the house. I try to get out as much as I can, but it, again, everything costs money. We don't have a pool near us and the few pools that we do have, it can get quite pricey. Um, so I'm looking forward to them being able to go back to school, see their friends, kind of get into a new routine again. And I don't know, there's just something about the fall. You guys know I love fall, but there's just something about fall and the weather and just the routine. I'm a routine person. I love having a routine and I just feel like everything kind of falls back into place come August. So I'm feeling very excited, but I do have a lot to get done. I will have a back to school prep video for you guys. I'm hoping in the next week or two. Um, and I think I'm just gonna get the school supplies that I know that we need now and then whatever extra stuff that the teachers ask for, I'll get later because <laughs> I just wanna get it now and be prepared before all of the chaos begins.
One task I was really looking forward to getting done is deep cleaning my couches. You guys know I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I was waiting until after Savannah's birthday and it was time to get it done. It was really gross. You can't tell on camera very well, but the like where the arm, what is it called, armrests are, they were looking a little dingy, a little dirty. So I did spray some of that OxyClean on there. I let it sit for a little bit just to kind of brighten it up. And then I washed everything. I washed in the couch, around the couch. I washed the couch covers and the back cushions. And it just feels really good when I do this. It feels really clean. It also smells really good. And then typically when I'm done washing everything and have the covers back on the cushions, I will use my little lint remover that I have. Now I did get footage of this, but for whatever reason, I can't find it. I don't know if it got deleted or I don't know. I have like one little clip that you will see at the end of me doing that. But for some reason, I don't know what happened to the rest of it, but I love to use that and just kind of get all of the little the little pillings off of my couch because I've said this many, many times. I love these couches, but they pill so badly. Um, that's the only downfall about this couch. It is very comfortable, but they pill within like almost immediate use. And it's really frustrating because I feel like it makes it really hard to stay on top of and then your couches look a little dingy. We are finally done washing these couches. It was an all day chore for me. Look how dirty that water is from my couches. That is foul. <laughs> and that's not even from like where you sit. That is from just the arms and the back of the couch because I washed the covers in the washer. So I don't know. I saw that and I was like, that is absolutely disgusting. And it just makes me want to clean these a little bit more often. Um, I do try my best to stay on top of stuff like this, but life happens, you know, we're all human. It's okay to, you know, not keep up with everything all the time. But that was like, that was a wake up call for me. I was like, wow, I need to clean, <laughs> I 
need to clean these more. But anyway, you guys, that is actually going to end today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of random and like clips thrown together, but I hope that you still leave my channel feeling motivated and inspired to get some cleaning done in your home today. As always, thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.